So we have the kaya and the egg right here. Well, that fat is so luscious and creamy. But it's also slightly caramelized in the end. Got those charred bits. Oh, big catfish. This thing is huge. Nice soup. Totally reminds me of a Thai beef noodle soup. I really like it. Kalantan has their own type of laksa. This is breakfast. We are at Kopitiam Kita and wow, look at this. This roti for breakfast. Two eggs, over easy, so soft and it's just wiggling. And the toast is really thick. The Kopitam Kita is a very popular place here in Kota Baru. When you look up places to eat, this is always at the top of the list. And their main special dish here is called the Roti Titab. It's so famous that it's even copyrighted by the owner. Who the owner is really friendly, by the way. He came by, took a picture with us. Roti Titab, it's, it's basically like your Kaya toast, but everything on it all in one. It's a really thick slab of toast. We actually ordered two types. We got the original and we got the pandan. The pandan looks a slight bit hue of green. Looks like they probably put pandan in the bread. And they put four dollops of kaya, the lovely jam we cannot get enough of out here, made with the coconut milk and the pandan and the sugar and the eggs. It's four dollops perfectly on each side and all four corners. But we got the special. We asked what the special was, like with two eggs. Why not for one more ring it, right? It's got all in one sweet and savory, all in one toast. I'm so excited to try it. We also got our, I got a hot kopi o here, kopi o panas, just the plain black coffee. So it could pair with the sweet. And Jumi has her nice foamy kopi tarek. So I take a bite of the classic first. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. Quite sloppy, I could tell. Got the yolk all over the place. Ooh, here we go. Scoop a little yolk. So we have the kaya and the egg right here. One big bite. Mmm, so good. The toast is perfectly toasted here. You got that slight bit of char taste on the outside of the toast. And what I really like about it is that Kaya already has egg in it. And then you have this soft boiler to go with it. So you have basically double egg in here to go with that sweetness of the Kaya. Mm. I could really eat this every day, that's how good it is. Mm. That boiled egg is just so creamy and luscious. Now I'm gonna try the pandan version. So I'm curious to see if there's a strong difference in taste between the pandan toast and the classic toast. To taste it. I've never seen a green hue toast like this with the pandan in it. So when you cut it, you see that slight pandan. I like it's not too green, so it's probably using real pandan, not exaggerated color. Mm -hmm. Subtle. Now. Here we go. Mm. I love that salty, sweet combination you get here. You get that slight saltiness from the butter on that toast. That creamy, luscious kaya, the creamy eggs. Man, it's a textural flavor mashup to perfection here. So good. Want to get that pandan and then egg and then with kaya. Let's see. Sweet, salty, and toast. I mean, why not? I was looking around, and this place, this space is huge. It's like a basketball court right here. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I can only imagine how it is early in the morning. It must be very packed. That's why this place is huge, and there's a reason for that. Of course, near Kalantan, you've got to have nasi karabu. So we're about 10 minutes north of Kotabaru city in a spot called Jija's. I love it because we're outside. It's like we're outside of a house. We're like the backyard eating. It's beautiful. If you remember, we had nasi karabu in Teranganu. We had it with the blue rice. This one actually comes with the yellow rice. This one looks beautiful. I love it. it's got the yellow rice, it's got the ulam, the fresh vegetables all chopped up. It's got the grated coconut. It's got, looks like some gulai here and some sambal. And then you have that beautiful grilled lamb. Ah, I don't even know what to eat first. Then we'll go with the lamb first. It smells so good. 
so tender. It's got, it's juicy. It's got that nice lamb flavor, but it's also a little yellow. I wonder if there's some turmeric in here, but it's really like, if you're a lamb lover like we are, this is where it's at. And now I'm gonna try this nasi kedibu all mixed up. Mmm. Wow. This is just incredible. We got that creamy gulai sambal, that grated coconut, those fresh oolong. And you got that yellow rice. Wow. This is incredible. Now I'm gonna take it with a piece of the lamb. Going for that mega bite, the money bite. Mmm. It's just incredibly good. So you get that richness of the lamb, you get that fresh flavors of the ulam, the veggies in here. And you got that creamy, like spicy. There's so much flavors going on here. And I like the different textures too. You get the crunchiness. You have some cabbage here, some chopped up long beans. And you have that slightly chewy lamb. It's an incredible nasi kadabu here, a must. Char. How can you not want to stop when you see that grill and all that chicken just smoke, that smoke billowing, that aroma just it lures you in no matter what. I Am Per Chick is a specialty here in Kelantan State. It is the grilled chicken and it's covered, it's actually smothered. So there's a grilled chicken and it's smothered in this Per Chick sauce. This Per Chick sauce is a nice orange color and it was supposed to be made with coconut milk and other spices. We're gonna get into those spices. We also ordered Hati, the chicken liver, also smothered in the perchik sauce. We also got the daging bakar, the grilled beef. This one's not smothered in the perchik sauce, which actually is good, we can taste it on its own. And we also got this beautiful plate of nasi kerabu, another Kalantan specialty. So what I like about here is you can just get, when you order a plate of rice, you're gonna get this nasi kerabu, just like this. It's just covered in this ulam, all these herbs. You have that grated coconut, you have some green sambal here, and more. This looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat this, that smoky aroma. We walk in that door. I tried first the I am per chick. So try this right here. This is the drumstick. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so many spices. I smell that aroma from the grill. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Creamy perchick sauce. Got that nice coconut milk flavor. It's got a strong kick of lemongrass. There's a little bit of spiciness in there with slight sweetness. There might be some cumin in here too, some turmeric. There's a lot going on in here. Mm. You got that really excellent smoky flavor from that grill, that charcoal. We're all about that charcoal life when it comes to barbecue. That's the way to go. This chicken liver, I'm gonna cover it in the sauce. Take one piece of this chicken liver. Cover in the perchick sauce, take a bite. Mmm, strong liver flavor. Very, very livery. Jumi's gonna love this. <laughs> this liver is so good. You drenched it with perchick. It has lots of lemongrass, but definitely liver taste. Now I'm gonna try a piece of this Daging bakar, the grilled beef. So we walk by, it's really cool. They actually have like a bowl of the beef and he puts it underneath the grill so the smoke is just billowing up, just permeating the strips of this meat. So it, I'm not even gonna try it with any sauce. I wanna try it just by itself first. It smells super smoky. Whoa. This beef just has so much of that amazing smoky flavor. A slight bit of sweetness to it, a little saltiness, a little slight peppery taste but you really just taste that smoky beef. That's the dominant flavor here, and it is amazing. And I love how on this plate, they actually give you some pieces of fat like this. Well, that fat is so luscious and creamy. But it's also slightly caramelized in the end and got those charred bits. Oh. The daging bakar is a must order here. I'm gonna try some of this nasi karabu. And we've already had it. We've had it in, we've had a white one before. We've had a yellow one. Now we're back to the classic blue that's colored with the butterfly pea flower. Mix that all up. Nasi kerabu nice and mixed up here. We've got all these different veggies, the cabbage, the bean sprouts, the herbs, everything in here. Take a nice scoop, take a bite. 
Mm. Oh, full on flavors. You get some sort of citrusy kick. I'm not sure if maybe this is green sambal. Oh, it's in that green sambal. It almost tastes like there's a lot of lime in there, but they also put a little bit of the perchic sauce. So you get that creamy, lemongrassy perchic sauce mixed in here. That's their little twist, so that's a smart idea. Man, this Nazi caribou is amazing. Definitely order this along with your grilled meats. It goes so perfectly. Now, I'll try a piece of the beef. Get a little piece of chicken in there too. Let's, let's get a little frisky. On one big mega bite here. Fresh fragrant nasi caribou just pairs so well. It complements that smoky meat so well. This place is incredible, very famous for a reason. You gotta come, they got the I am pretty sick, whatever you're here in Cotabaru. Must try. We're at Nasi Ulam Shiku right in the middle of Kota Baru and it's very cool because it's in the Kampung Kraftangan. It's like craft village. It's, uh, it has a real Kampung vibe here. If you look around, it's like the old buildings. It's beautiful. Nasi Ulam. So Ulam is the vegetables and we have lots of those. You can grab as much as you want. They have a whole buckets over there. This is more of like a grab and go serve yourself style, like a steam table. And we love that style of dining. We get a lot of seafood. Ikan Kelly, the fried catfish, it's huge actually. It's really crispy. Got some different uh, things here. We got the asam pedas fish. We have chincharu fish, which looks like it's stuffed. We have this thing here, not sure what it is. It's like a cabbage with tripe and herbs in there. We actually had this in Tarangano in a place we didn't film, really good. Here, they didn't have any label on it at all, but it looked incredible. These look like some sort of snail and this really nice looking yellow gravy. It looks like a masaklama chili api, kind of like what we had at Itiksalai Mastar in Kajang, Malaysia. But let us know in the comments what this is. We'd like to know. I'm guessing that's what it is, but we're not sure. Oh, it looks great. Terima kasih. The famous Kalantan and Terengganu. This is the Kalantan style. Very excited to try it. The fermented anchovy. We added our lime. We have our chili patty in here. Let's go, ready to dig in. Actually, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take some of this Ikan Kelly right here. Big, <laughs> this thing is huge. It looks so crispy. Hear that crunch. It's right here, try it. Oh, so good. Perfectly fried. Mm. I can easily eat this whole catfish right here. Wow. Let's just take some of the fish, dip it in the budu. excellent budu right here. This ain't your Southern American style catfish right here. This is a really crispy, eat it all. This is excellent budu right here. A little salty, but that lime really cuts through. It just gives it such a nice flavor. Throw the ulam as well. I'm not sure what this one is. It looks interesting. It has purple. Let us know what all these ulam are. We have no idea. Yeah, no, I, this one. No idea what this is. Well, I have an idea, maybe. Like some sort of snail, sea snail, in this gravy. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Oh, that gravy is incredible. Definitely tastes like masak lamak chili api. Try this, actually. No. It's the catfish, but it's uh, stewed in gulai. In this gravy here. Mmm. That like coconut milk gravy is so flavorful. There's some moxa leaf in here. Amazing. It's another must. I think both catfish dishes here are must orders. Really good. So we got here the chencharu fish. It looks like it's stuffed with something in here. Not sure what. It's very crispy with the onions in here. Very spicy. Really good though. It's another must. Ooh. All right. We me. It's like an escargot. Mmm. Kelly. I read the Kelly's with a mustard. It's fresh mango juice. The noodles, meat, perot. Being in Kalantan means we're only less than an hour away from the Thai border. 
So we definitely wanted to try a dish that has some Thai influence to it. And this is one of them, it's called mee chalup. So mee is noodles, and this comes with yellow noodles. It's in a broth, it's not a dark brown broth, but at first glance, it actually reminds you of Thai beef noodle soup broths. It smells like it too. And it comes with red chili flakes in a very Thai style. They have uh, three types of meat here. So normally this is the special, it comes with beef and chicken, but we also ask for perut, the beef stomach, the tripe. And it also, what's nice here, it comes with this beautiful half boiled egg. It's very, this yolk is about to burst. That's how soft it is. And they give you lime, squeeze some lime on it. There's also some chopped up greens here. Not sure what it is yet. Looks like it could be morning glory. Let's take a look. And they even give you the condiment caddy here, like a Thai restaurant. The chili flakes, hot sauce. So looks like pickled chilies here. So might have to go to that in a little bit, depending on the flavor of this. So I'm gonna take a sip of the broth first. Ooh, very nice broth. It has a little of that five spice flavor. Definitely has got some heat to it from the chili flakes. I love the crunchy greens too. Might be morning glory, but it has almost like a celery taste to it. No, it was a celery leaf. Had a little bit with the beef, tripe, the chicken all together. Mmm. Nice soup. Totally reminds me of a Thai beef noodle soup. I really like it. Now I'm gonna crack the egg in here, make it extra creamy. Have it with some noodles. That celery leaf really gives it such a nice, refreshing flavor to cut through some of the richness of it. That's got a nice heat level to it. And we have this lovely mango smoothie to go with it. I gotta stop myself, I'm about to just down this whole thing. So good, so refreshing. Some good stuff right here. It's nice to switch it up a little bit. Eating a lot of rice, so it's nice to get some noodles in here and soup. Even though it's like 90 degrees outside, I think it's really hot. Noodle soup in the heat, there's always something right about it. We're here about 10 minutes outside of the center of Kotobaru for a Kalantan special. Kalantan has their own type of laksa. It's called laksam. And there's some real key differences to this laksam. The spot we're at is called Bai Ti Laksam Special. And that's what we ordered. So you get the laksam or you get it with the special. So we got the special. I have this creamy grayish broth that's made with coconut milk and fish. Then their noodles are really what makes it stand out. So they're the flat rice noodles. They're rolled up. I love these type of noodles. And the special also comes with two quail eggs, serundang, it's like a floss. I'm not sure if it's fish floss or beef floss, we'll find out. Some ulam, the fresh vegetable, and samba. Sip of this broth by itself first. Mmm. Oh, it's so creamy. Very coconutty. Nice fish flavor. Doesn't taste fishy, but you definitely taste the fish. Now let's try the noodle. Mmm. Really interesting noodle, very thick. Slightly chewy, with a little bit of softness to it. I love the texture. I'm gonna try it with the ulam. Mm. Well, the flavor of this ulam reminds me a lot of the ulam you get in the nasi caribou. Very similar, mix it all together. The floss has a little spiciness to it. So I'm not sure what meat this is, but it's dry, spicy. Adds a totally different texture and flavor to this laksam. This is, that's uh, pretty, mild and uh, creamy. Go with the money bite, get everything, the floss, the quail egg, the sambal, the ulam, the rice noodle, the broth. Mm. Really nice. It definitely makes sense for the region being on the coast to have this type of laksa. Very different. Never had laksa like this before. Definitely you must try when you're in Kalantan.